You know, many people today are either taking a multivitamin or some kind of B vitamin, which are two of the most common supplements consumed on a daily basis. The vitamin B complex is sold in a variety of forms, claiming to help boost energy and increase muscle tone and fortify the nerve system and so on. However, don't be fooled by vitamins labeled that so as uh, the list of synthetic Bs are so long, they're most likely missing an important food which is very rich in whole vitamin D complex. See, our bodies were designed to assimilate real foods for growth and for repair of organs and tissues, not synthetic chemicals. Therefore, vitamins are best derived from real food. See, vitamins, unlike drugs, are living complexes, and it's crucial to get these in a form that includes all of the enzymes and coenzymes and minerals and cofactors that make up a naturally occurring vitamin complex. Remember, these synthetic B vitamin ingredients are much cheaper and easier to produce in a laboratory rather than sourcing all the different foods that naturally contain these vitamins. However, our bodies are designed to utilize them in a natural form. That's why I love Cataplex B. Cataplex B is a vitamin complex that is in a base of organically grown foods, which are rich in many of the B vitamins. Now, most people have heard of B1, thiamine, or a vitamin B2, riboflavin, or even B6, panathenic acid. But there are also lesser known vitamins like B4 and the family of B vitamins. Now, B4 fraction is sometimes thought of as being adenine or some other unidentified fraction that is functionally known for improving transmission of nerve impulses, particularly in the heart muscle. Adenine is a purine base that is a component of your DNA and of your RNA. And adenine is also part of other biological important compounds such as ATP and NAD and even seen in vitamin B12. Now the literature describes vitamin B4 as widespread throughout plant and animal tissue. And as I stated before, vitamin B4 promotes efficient nerve conductivity to the heart, and it helps maintain the rhythm of the heart. So unless you derive your B vitamins from whole food sources, vitamin B4 would not be included because it can't be synthesized. Therefore, most off-of-the-shelf vitamins don't contain that important cofactor of vitamin B4 in that vitamin complex. Whole B vitamin complexes are only found in foods. And that, quite honestly, uh, those foods aren't part of the standard American diet. Things such as nutritional yeast and liver and wheat germ, which contain all those natural complexes that support many of your body's systems. Again, including your heart muscle, your central nervous system, all the muscles throughout your body, productions of energy in your body, and much, much more. Many of the problems linked to vitamin B complex deficiency arise from poor cellular metabolism of blood glucose, truthfully caused by an overconsumption of refined carbohydrates or diets that are high in sugar, like the standard American diet. But it can also come from an overstimulation of the adrenal glands or stress, which we'll cover in another video. Now, this is a vital reason for people to reduce or at least eliminate their consumption of refined uh, carbohydrates in foods that are full of sugar. And also people who are having difficulty with elevated blood sugars, sort of like those with diabetes or even those on steroids, desperately need whole food B vitamin complexes and cofactors. When there is too much blood glucose, the body increases the urinary excretion of glucose and B vitamins are often lost in that urine as well. On the other hand, and an important consideration is that the body doesn't store B vitamins. So it's easy to become vitamin B deficient. But then again, an overconsumption of synthetic B vitamins, taken in large amounts like these megadose synthetic Bs you see, um, they often end up in the urine also, and they're simply just excreted out of the body. So think about it. People with diabetes or any other dysfunctional carbohydrate metabolism disorder, that might be things like metabolic syndrome or 
even high stress in their life, often have low levels of vitamin B6, which is used to metabolize carbohydrates. This fact is the one that's often used to support the premise that high sugar diets deplete B vitamins. And yet the other side says it's low vitamin B that leads to blood sugar issues. To tell you the truth, it really doesn't matter to me which came first. I just know that they're definitely related. So when you think of blood sugar dysregulation, think Cataplex B. Cataplex B does many things. It supports health of the heart by enhancing nerve and muscle signals. It enhances energy production in the body. It improves healthy muscle action and recovery in the body. It assists in healthy breakdown of carbohydrates throughout the system. And it promotes nerve system health and stress management. So there's a plethora of things that Cataplex B can actually help with. Although all B vitamins are considered to be water soluble, Cataplex B contains the B complexes and cofactors that are also alcohol soluble. Cataplex B contains the entire group of B factors as they're found in nature. So make sure Cataplex B is a staple in all the nutritional recommendations you make. A majority of the people walking through your front door could benefit from Cataplex B because many of the people are deficient in B complex. As we heard, they're just not eating it in the standard American diet. Now in regards to the heart sound recorder, you'll see that Cataplex B is in many of the recommendation protocols that we use because it has such a positive effect on so many abnormal findings of rate, rhythm, and tone in the cardiac system. So again, make sure you check out our other videos of how a person might have a, a great diet and yet have blood sugar dysregulation or issues due to adrenal gland problems. So until next time, keep running scans, keep staying alive.